Hi, welcome to Making All the Plans. I'm Connie, and if we haven't met before, I'm a busy mom of two active kids, and both my husband and I have full-time careers. My goal is to share with you how I stay on top of all life throws at me in one planner so that you might be able to do the same. Today, I'm just going to jump right in and do my monthly reset and goal setting. I haven't really done anything to prepare for this video, so this is real life. The first thing I'm going to do is move my divider over to October, and then I'm also realizing that there are some things missing on my October calendar, so I probably should go ahead and add those before I move on to the other sections of my planner. So the first thing that I had not put in here is homecoming. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it was because I didn't know which week homecoming was or I wasn't sure if my son was going to homecoming, but I definitely want to drop those things in. Wednesday we have a parade and Saturday is the dinner and dance and all that stuff. Wednesday, my daughter also has an orthodontist appointment that I need to drop in, so I'll grab a sticker for that as well. I am using my friction pen because it was just what was sitting here. That is not what I used originally. Originally, I used the Uniball Zinto, and it's just a little bit bolder of a pen, and I also like how smoothly it writes. It is a permanent pen and not an erasable pen, but like I said, I just grabbed what was sitting right there and it happened to be my friction erasable pen and this is the 05 tip. So as I'm looking at that week, it is going to be crazy. So I actually will start planning out next week this afternoon and I know that it's going to be a little bit hectic between soccer, the homecoming stuff, and I actually have a contractor coming out on Wednesday as well to look at the back door, which may all lead to a bit of a crazy week. Oh, and a car appointment. That's not on this particular view, but yeah, a little crazy. And now I'm just walking through my Google Calendar to make sure that I have moved everything over to this calendar view. I'm also going to drop in a sticker for a college visit that we are going on. We're going to go visit a college and also watch a soccer game. So hopefully that will be a fun day and give my son some perspective on where he wants to go for college. And now that I have my monthly calendar updated, I will pull out all of my weekly planning sheets from last month and get ready for this month. That orange paperwork is something that I need to fill out and send back to school, so I want to have it right there where it won't get lost. I will come back and do my goal setting, but I want to jump through my trackers. I did use this tracker from Squared Plans on Etsy to write out all of my supplements, and I did just throw it in for last month and I did not use it but I'm trying to come up with a plan on how to gradually bring these back into my daily routines. I don't have my phone available since I'm recording, so I'll have to come back and look at the rest of September. I'm not sure I closed my rings very many times the end of September. Again, my weight tracker and my measurements will also have to wait since I am videoing right now but I will come back and fill those in. I will just make a note of having to do those. My husband is already asleep for the night. Also, I don't want to wake him up. I will come back and do this in the morning. I did finish another book. The name of it was Range, and it just talked about whether you should specialize in something or if it was better to have a wide variety of experiences and backgrounds. So that was a very interesting book, especially for someone like me who considers themselves a jack of all trades. And now switching gears to making all the planned stats. I did put out 15 videos this past month, but I am still a little bummed because some of the videos that I really wanted to put out, I just did not have the energy to do. So hopefully I will be able to circle back and get more up this October. I am happy about my subscriber growth, but I'm a little bummed out that my watch time went down. 
So that is something that I want to work on. And I'm sure it's because I had a lot of shorter videos this month because I was sick and I was trying to save my voice and save some editing time. And this, I think, is where I realized that I decided to add in a new category that I was tracking either last month or the month before. And I'm realizing that it is the same number as the views. So watch count and views are basically the same number and I've been tracking it twice. So hopefully I will remember to just take that off next year. And then I put zero for Instagram posts and I do think that I actually did post. So I'll have to go back and look at that as well, but was not a focus last month. Now I'm just flipping through and making sure there is nothing else that I need to take out or adjust in my planner. There was one reservation that I can pull out, but everything else is good to go for October. So I have my stickers from my monthly spread. Pretty sure they were from Payday Designs, but I will link the shop down below on Etsy. And then I'm just going to grab a piece of dot grid for my monthly goals. I'm going to use some of these boxes just to put the date in the upper right hand corner. And I've done this all year. I just like having the date up in that corner. So as I flip through, it's easy to find the month that I'm looking for. I did go ahead and take out the first six months of the year just to reduce the size of my planner a little bit. So I'm going to try to decorate as I go this time around. I used to put everything in and then try to drop the decor in around it. But today I'm going to try to decorate as I go and hopefully that will make it easier in the long run. I am going to use my Kelly Creates pins for the titles. So anything in the box stickers, I will use the Kelly Creates fine liner pins. The October 2024 is in the weight 10 and the other box stickers are in the weight 05. I'm also going to try to keep my goals very simple this month. I know I will be very busy this month and I really want to focus on the top priorities and not just make a list of all the things that need to be done. So for personal, I'm putting morning routine and read one book. And when I say read, I can also listen to an audiobook, which is probably the way it will end up happening. So something that I am noticing about my sticker sheets is there are some that don't have enough variety for me. This particular set is not necessarily the case. It might have just been what I picked of the images to print out since these aren't pre-made sticker sheets, but I also try to not put the similar images next to each other, if that makes sense. So I'm really going to have to start paying attention to those sticker sets or sticker sheets that I buy to make sure they have enough variety of various images, if that makes sense. So I don't need a whole page of just girls. I don't need a whole page of just books or coffee or, you know, I need some variety. I don't like when my page all looks the same but I also struggle putting multiple sticker sets together. So something that I want to try and work on on future spreads. So for health and wellness this month, again, I'm repeating morning routine, I'm closing my Apple watch rings and start taking my supplements. So again, I'm just trying to keep it simple and also reflect my HB90 goals for the quarter. For friends and family, again, trying to keep it as simple as possible. And really, I just need to work on my Florida trip plans with my mom and get that all figured out before the end of the month. I know she has a few doctor's appointments and whatnot, and then soccer games and planning around that are also important to me. I am liking dropping the images in as I go. I feel like it's helping me space things out a little bit better instead of guessing or just randomly placing things, which is how I've done it in the past. But I do like working from the top down. 
I also know that since I am keeping it simple, that it's not like I'm going to need a ton of room to write any of the items. So I'm going to drop this bookshelf in in the middle of the page and I do end up putting it over text, which uh, bothers me, but I was not getting my undo out to move it. I also probably should have put it all the way to the right instead of putting it right under the girl that's sitting in the chair. But again, I didn't want to get my undo out. So I will drop in my financial plans and the only things that I need to do this month, I believe, are checking my retirement account. And I really want to read Smart Couples Finish Rich. I did start it, but I have not finished it yet. It would be helpful if it was in audiobook format so that I could listen to it in the car and then do the exercises when I got home. But I don't usually have time to both read and do the exercises. So that's where I'm struggling a little bit. And I'm realizing that I probably should have shifted everything down a little bit since I am not planning on writing so many goals in for this month, but I will end up having more white space down at the bottom. It will be fine. So for passion, which is making all the plans, I'm trying to hit two to three videos per week at minimum and two Instagram posts. We'll see how the Instagram goes this month. But I'm hoping that if I get my morning routine back down, that that will give me more time throughout my day to do other things. So for professional, I have one goal, and that is to limit working hours. And although being sick helped with limiting my hours, I did enjoy not putting in a ton of extra time last month. I'm not sure if announcing that to the world is the best idea, and I'm sure there will be some judgment both ways, but I'm really trying to focus on balance and balancing out my work, my passion, my health, all of the things. It's really going to take some give and take, and that is going to include not working 60-hour weeks at my full-time job. So even though I'm willing to put in the work, I do want to bring balance back into my life and try to spread some time out across the board to all the things and all the areas of my life. And then the last goal setting section is household and just a few replace the back door, clean the home exterior, clean the shed and any paint touch ups. I'm really trying to minimize my list of tasks for the month. And then I'll just drop in a little decor down here in the bottom to fill up this white space. And then I will call it done for planning out my month. I hope that everybody has a great start to their October. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.